is 810. It's a mason jar Tuesday. Yes, Kaylee Williams. Good morning, Hello. Kaylee. Good How morning. are you, Kaylee? I'm awesome. How are you? Yeah, doing good. How was your weekend? It good? was really good. 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 Perfect good. weather. Yeah, we were talking. I uh, opened up the pool. Denise and I did that. She was mulching in the backyard mm-hmm. and all the gardening stuff. And I had pool duties. And uh, next up is a new door on the shed. Which nice. I have to take measurements first. You know, I, I want to do it right. What, I don't want measure I, twice, I, cut yeah. once. Is that what they say? <laughs> Some way. I don't want to disappoint. Denise, you know, yeah, I don't, I, I've done that too many times. So, and you were in the backyard, huh? Yes, yeah. back front, all over the place, all we over, were ripping stuff up, and <laughs> it's gonna, it's, it's, yeah. man, is landscaping hard work, but it's, it's gonna be worth it in the end. Yeah. All right, we're gonna talk about three ways to save this spring. Where do you want to kick it off? Yes, we are spring cleaning your budget. That's what we're talking about. So it's warmer out. People are are in the mood to declutter and things like that. But don't forget about decluttering your wallet. So one of the things, and this sounds so simple, but that will really help you before you head to the grocery store or even out retail shopping is make a list. Um, It will help you avoid getting sidetracked. It'll help you stick to, you know, if you set a budget before you go to the grocery store and you need these things and stick to those things and then you won't go over budget. But it depends. I I have to like put blinders on in the grocery store because I see things on shelves that <laughs> that ooh that looks good right now because I'm hungry. So don't go to the grocery store hungry. I guess that should have been a tip too. Yeah. What are they? Are you? Uh, there's a name for people like impulsive buyers oh, at the that grocery would be store me. or something. Yeah, those yeah. those point I mean, of sale yeah. things at the cash yeah. register they get me they get- every time. So I'll admit it. <laughs> <laughs> ten for ten, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, make a list. Number two, take a look at your expenses. Look at your monthly, you know, what do you pay every month? Is it cable? Is it internet? Is it, you know, all those different things? And is there something that maybe you can cut down on? I, I think cable is a really example that can apply to many households. You know, do you really use all the channels you have? Is there a smaller package that may be able to save you a little bit every month that still gets you, you know, your TV fix, but you know, helps your pocketbook as well. Do you need cable at all? I don't know. I mean, every family is different, but you know, there might be little things that even calling whatever utility company that may be, just seeing, hey, do you have any specials going on right now? I've been a customer for, you know, X amount of years or whatever. And, you know, maybe just that simple phone call can can help lower your bill too. You never know. And then the third one is actually my personal favorite. So it is garage sale. And I'm using that as a verb. So garage sale, do it. Um, Attend garage sales. You know, if you have those things, like I need a, one of those things that spread grass seed. You know what I'm talking about? The Scots thing. Uh I need one of those, but I don't want to pay full price. So that is what I'm going to be hunting at garage sales for over the next couple of weeks. You know, do the same. If there are things kind of like that, that it doesn't matter if it's gently used, it might be just as in great condition or even have a little more character if you find it in in a garage sale place and then on the other hand if you have a ton of clutter and you clean out that spare bedroom have a garage sale your own and then you can actually add money to your mason jar i love it it's a win-win okay so make a list take a look at your expenses and uh a good old garage sale yep you you got time you want to do a little why you'll build trading post here we could uh maybe find you uh, one of those, uh, yes, you know, little things to, to spread your your weed killer. I do. I need. Or the Scotch I need weed one. killer in there. But I'm too cheap. I go to Lowe's and I like have it in my hand and I'm like, oh, I don't want to pay for this. Well, what do you want to spend? Like twenty dollars. Twenty bucks? Uh huh. Yes. Gently use. It's got to be obviously. Yep. It's got to work. It has it's gotta to have function. two wheels. On, it doesn't have right? to be pretty. It just yeah. has to function. Okay, twenty bucks. Yep. Twenty dollars. Uh, why country listeners? Trading post. <laughs> Hey. You got one for sale? She'll take it off your hands. I will. I will gladly. I will come pick it up. (laughs) Don't even have to deliver it. All right. Let's see if we have any takers. All right. Thank you, Kaylee. It's 815. Randy Hauser. How country feels. 20 in a row. 97.5. Welcome.